Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to the cutest edition of Extinct Bricks Originals! And for this very special episode, we'll be featuring the LEGO compatible costume Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3, Baby Bumpy! But before we head on with this video, I'd like to say thanks to youtube.com audio library for this awesome background music. Please also like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And to be able to support my channel, please do not skip on all the ads on all my videos. Thanks everyone! You may also like to follow me on all my social media platforms. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Leica. There I'll be posting some of my exclusive photos and video clips as well. So I'll see you there everyone! The Guess is PC contest winners will be announced later in the show, so I'll see you all there guys! Well, let's now proceed with the making of the Baby Bumpy. And as with all my customs, I usually start by kit bashing. And for this one, since it's a little kid, Baby Bumpy, we had, you know, two minifigures connected to each other. And then, you know, I kind of tried to want a Bumpy with, uh, you know, uh, articulations on the legs as well as the head and even the tail if possible. So I'm doing that here. And then I started off with sculpting and of course with sculpting there are several details that needed to be added of course like uh, the bumps on Bumpy's uh, back, the um, club on the end of its tail and of course the face itself. This is such a fun project for me because you know not only that I really wanted to have a baby Bumpy of my own and this time I get to play with it. I know the Lego Bumpy was uh, quite good and they did really such a good job with it but you know in terms of playability I think it's lacking in that department so I made my own and I think I did well on this one because it's really cute and I'm really excited to paint this one. So here's the Bumpy with the finished sculpt. You can see here some details on the back as well as the head and also the legs. So after a little bit of sanding, here is oh oh my gosh, I dropped Bumpy. Well, uh, anyway, she's a top girl, and I think she was able to carry through with that particular fall. And here she is now, after primering. For the primer paint, I still use number sixty-eight Bosni in gray. And after drying, here she is, Bumpy, ready to be painted. And before we start, we take a look at some references. So references people, references because, you know, without this, we might end up, you know, having the wrong colors for the character that we're actually looking into. So uh, first up, I mix a little bit of uh, yellow ochre with white and then uh, colored Bumpy all throughout. So I know that Bumpy uh, has this uh, teal color on its back. So we are leaving that one out. So the parts that we'll be painting this particular color would be of course the legs, the head, the underbelly, and even the um, tail as well. So I'm just gonna let this dry before we move on to the next color because you know we might um, uh, touch on all or some parts of Bumpy and it might smudge the paint. Now we begin with the teal colors. So just apply the teal colors on the back as well as the uh, some parts of the head as well as the tail. At first I use a flat brush but in the end I will be using you know a finer brush just to make the edges you know more uniform and it won't um, end up smudging the uh, colors of, that we actually did earlier. Both base colors are actually uh, painted in two or three uh, coats just to make it more uniform as a black canvas for all the details. And remember, in between coats, I usually have them dried like 5 or 10 minutes before I move on to the next coat. And now it's time for some details. So using the same colors, I'm placing some scales on the legs and the body. I also did a few um, details on the head as well. And now it's time for the you know um, indentations between the uh, armor of Bumpy. It's actually the same color as that of the body or under uh, belly of Bumpy. So using the same color, I used this metal um, tip 
to be able to have fine lines uh, going towards or going through each of the armor. During sculpting, there are actually several, you know, imperfections in the sculpt. So I try to hide that by um, going through those lines using this same color. Alright, so actually Bumpy has this orangey feel to it when, you, when looking at the um, references. So we're adding that particular color to create low lights on the face, on the arms, or on the legs, as well as the underbelly and the tail. It's a subtle color change from yellowish to a little bit pinkish, but I think it's not reflecting well on the camera, but you get what I mean. Just using the same colors earlier, just add a little bit of red and that should do it. And once that is done, I let it dry first for around uh, 5 or 10 minutes and then move on with several details such as you know, creating the uh, colors for the horns as well as the armor for Bumpy. So, having the camera move closer also, I'm starting to create, you know, other details such as the beak, the uh, nails, as well as the colors of the club. Bumpy's horns, when she was still a baby, was pretty clean, uh, so I decided to have uh, a mixture of white as well as a little bit of black just to make it very light gray and then painted it all over the details, so just the horns and the um, uh, spikes on the back of Bumpy. This will be the same color that I'll be using for the club as well. And now for some final details, so that would include the eyes. Bumpy's eyes are actually a little bit orangey, so I mix a little bit of orange and yellow as well as a little bit of white and then paint it on the figure itself. I try my best not to overdo it so that it will not end up like a big bug eye Bumpy. I think she's starting to look really really cute and I'm really excited at this point you just can't imagine. Alright now it's time to just put on the eyes so here's a black pen here and I'm marking on the uh, areas where the peoples will be uh, going. I'm really trying my best not to you know shake because I don't want to repeat the painting on this one because she's already so cute. And that's about it for our making of Bumpy. So here's the little bump here. I put just a little bit of catch light on the eyes just to make it look really cute and alive. And now it's time for us to move on with the Guess's PC Contest Spinners. And let's start first with the Lucky Picks. Subio 6, Jurassic Adventure, Winsley Nains, Shannon Rose, Mikhail, Giovanni Kazuo, Draco, Lim Wei, Billy, and Abdul Samad. Congratulations everyone! And now for our top 10 winners! Victor Gabriel Top 10 Walking with Jurassic Top 9 Alucard Top 3 Mr. T-Rex Top 7 Greg Najeel Top 6 Captain Vermeulen Top 5 Best Rex TV Master Jesset Colton Top and Classic P.O. Congratulations everyone and I'll see you in the next Get This PC contest. For those of you who would like to join, here's how. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage. And in that homepage, just click on the community link and it will lead you to all my posts. I know, right? Well, let's start with the Sunbricks of Baby Bumpy. 
So here we have Buffy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven parts to it. So uh, where do we start? So let's start with the head, I guess. Let's connect this one to the body. All right. Now let's attach the tail. There you go. Now for the extremities. Let's start with the um, front arms or the forelegs. Let's just focus the camera a bit before we continue. Alright, so let's uh, attach the right foreleg. And then the hind legs this time. This is the right one. And then for the last piece, we have the left hind leg. And that completes our baby bumpy figure. Okay now, so it's time for us to move on to the next portion of this video. This is the closer look on our baby bumpy figure. Okay, so Ibi is actually here, you know, pushing off um, Bumpy away from danger. It's so cute, you know, it's smaller than the average minifigure and it's actually based on from the Bumpy from uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. I know Bumpy grew over time and uh, in Jurassic Park uh, or Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, he's no longer that little tyke but we wanted to go back and see how cute Bumpy is. Ibi will be back later for some size comparisons but for now let's look at Bumpy here. He's really cute. I think I re we, we did a good job at you know um, uh, having this Bumpy with articulations and let's have a closer look. So, um, we have here Bumpy, he has this one stud on the back and then several details as well. So you can see here that um, he has this uh, smaller horn on the other side or on the left side of his um, face and then, um, uh, oops, he keeps on rolling like that, you know. Would you remember this time when Bumpy were actually um, saving uh, Ben and he was rolling crazy? <laughs> well, uh, this Bumpy can do that. <laughs> Alright, so other than that, of course, the uh, details will have on the face, you know, several lines to delineate the armor, as well as some scales on the legs, as well as that of the tail. The club here also has some, you know, um, details in terms of sculpting and uh, the coloration of Bumpy is, uh, I tried to be as close to that of the original um, coloration. And then for articulation, the head can actually move like so, so that it will uh, look at you like um, it's begging for food or something. <laughs> yeah, Bumpy, you look like Usher and Moira. Okay, so that head can only do that articulation but uh, fine with me. The legs can uh, move as well, so it's as if it's walky, or uh, you can also position it like a, a running or galloping pose. So here is the Bumpy in his walking pose. Alright, and uh, here is Bumpy on a running pose, so let's have that as well. We do know that when Bumpy was actually younger, she was not able to run very fast and that Ben and the others will have to carry her uh, when they were actually fleeing from the Pteranodons. And our Bumpy here can also twist its tail like uh, it's as if defending itself but it's really short and um, quite uh, useless at that time maybe. But nonetheless, the tail adds to the cuteness of Bumpy. And that's it for our closer look on our baby bumpy figure. Let's now have our size comparisons. I'm really excited for this one because we'll be putting up some of these ankylosaurus themselves. And first up for the comparisons of course, we'll be bringing back here Eevee so that baby bumpy here will be somehow um, compared in terms of size. So technically here our Eevee or the minifigure here is taller and larger than our baby bumpy. And basing off from the photo that we have here, uh, 
definitely the bumpy or baby bumpy is uh, smaller than that of Ben as well. Okay, so moving on with our size comparisons, Ibi, say bye bye to you, bumpy first. Let's have our first comparison also an Ankylosaurus. Okay, and first up, this is our Lego Baby Bumpy, of course. So, I like how LEGO actually did the Baby Bumpy and I commend them for doing this because, you know, a lot of um, fans are actually requesting for Baby Bumpy and so they did it. However, I'm really, uh, you know, missing the playability part so I created this Baby Bumpy myself. Of course, as well as uh, Extinct Bricks can do it, we tried to put in several more um, details to it other than just, you know, um, uh, coloring it and you know so this is the baby bumpy that we have now and this is the Lego baby bumpy so what do you think guys I think they're both cute alright so maybe we can move on with the next comparisons that we have another ankylosaur maybe so what do you guys think this is the extinct bridge Crichtonosaurus now the Crichtonosaurus actually is um, a dinosaur or an ankylosaur that is named after Michael Crichton, the author of Jurassic Park and The Lost World. The guy who started it all guys. So if you may have noticed, I placed this little M on the top of its head just to remind everyone of the uh, author of Jurassic Park. And the next would be our extinct Rex Uwaflocephalus. I like the Uwaflocephalus so much because I made it the most accurate as I can. It has this uh, really unique head to it. It can open and close its mouth. It has this uh, very unique armor to it. I even made it a little bit longer so that it would look actually the same as that of the um, fossil remains or the fossil reconstructions. And next up on our Extinct Rigs comparisons or size comparisons, this is the Extinct Rigs Edmontonia. Now, as with my other um, Kylosaurus, I tried to make them as much as possible close to the um, skeletal reconstructions because the Ankylosaur family actually has this very unique armor to them. So, this one also was made uh, as much as possible exact as that of the fossil remains. And last but not least, we have, of course, who else? Our Ankylosaurus, Adult Bumpy. Now, Adult Bumpy here, or the sub adult Bumpy, is much, you know, detailed than our baby Bumpy here. It has uh, a lot of um, spikes on the back, as well as uh, details of um, scaling on the legs, on the underbelly, on the face, on everywhere. And at this point of the video, I'd like to say thank you, thank you so much for supporting my adult Ankylosaur Bumpy uh, video. Uh, I, I really cannot, you know, um, contain myself in terms of uh, thanking you guys for all the support that you give Extinct Break. So, uh, I hope you do the same for our baby Bumpy here. <laughs> So definitely, comparing the sizes, our baby Bumpy is smaller, of course, than that of the adult Bumpy here. And that ends our size comparisons between Ankylosaurus. We can now move on with... Oh, but wait, what's this? Oh no, this is the E750, he's trying to attack Bumpy! Uh, but he cannot do that because Bumpy is well protected by her armor as well as her tail club. So better luck next time, Scorpius Rex. Well, we are at peace now and we can now move on with our Extinct PC Roll Call. And we have here all my Ankylosaurus so far. Currently, I have five. So if you do have other suggestions of other Ankylosaurus or probably uh, other armored species that you'd like to see next here in Extinct Breaks, please don't be shy to um, comment them down below and I'll read them back. Okay, so Ibi here also would like to remind everyone that each and every one of these species or these ankylosaur species are actually available in my Extinct Bricks playlist but I'll be putting up also some of the um, links so that you can uh, directly uh, view them on the description box below. 
I believe most of these ankylosaurs are actually done a year back or I think two years back some of them but yeah uh, please support all these uh, creatures that I've done so far and watch them as well okay so let's start with this PC roll call beginning with uh, here this is the extinct Briggs Edmontonia extinct Briggs Pythonsaurus <laughs> This is the Extinct Briggs Euaflocephalus. And then this is our Extinct Briggs Adult Bumpy or Ankylosaurus. And of course, the star of the show here, our cute little fellow, Baby Bumpy Ankylosaurus. Roll over, roll over. <laughs> I just can't get enough of her, you know, I've been playing with her like 4 hours straight. <laughs> well, it's time for us to move on with the last portions of this video, the last looks on Baby Bumpy. Now, uh, Baby Bumpy, due to her age, Bumpy is only around the size of a large dog, with dull osteoderms distributed across her body and a short stumpy tail. Bumpy is actually born prematurely, and the spikes on the back of its head are asymmetrical, with the one on the right being larger and less blunt than the other. If you guys are asking, she was actually born in the year of 2015, just around the time of Jurassic World. And here again is our baby bumpy one last look and that's it for our video thanks everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did well don't forget to support our other channels ev toy universe and the adventures of moira and asher please like and share their content as well as subscribe to their channel as we always would say let your inner dana brick roar thanks